Welcome back, little beans. Warning, the following ASMR is only aimed for beans who are in the need for comfort and positive energy from a favorite video game character. There will be any NSFW versions of this ASMR. This is for all ages and it's appropriate for all. However, if you feel uncomfortable from videos like this, then click off. To the ones who are staying, go right ahead and get all cozy in your blinkies, pop in your headphones, snack on some pockies, and enjoy this ASMR. Mono? Are you okay? Oh, bad dream? Yeah. Mm. I'm sorry. Do you need some company? I I'm fine, Ole. Um, I guess I shouldn't eat any candy at night. <laughs> yeah. Go back to sleep. Uh, here. What's this? Just a comforting teddy bear, Mona. Hopefully it'll work for you. It works for me sometimes. I'll trust you on that, Ole. <laughs> Go back to sleep. Don't want Nanny listener to know that we're up. Yeah. Or else we'll be getting in trouble. We don't want that to happen. Both of us don't. Alright. Good night, Mono. Good night, Ole. Huh? Ole? No, Ole. No, not again. Wake up. Not again. Ole. <gasps> Mono! Were you having a nightmare? I think so. What was it about? I don't want to talk about it. But it sounds important, Ole. We should warn this to Nanny Listener. But we don't know if she's up. <gasps> Nanny Listener! Uh, sorry, we were gonna go back to bed. Uh, well, we actually want to come see you. Yeah, we both of us had nightmares. We're okay, Nanny listener. We just got a little scared. Yeah, just nightmares, you know. Bad dreams. Huh? You want us to meet in the living room? By the fireplace? Why, Nanny listener? Oh, okay. Let me grab my blanket. Me too, I'm gonna grab mine too. We'll be there in a second. I guess Nanny listener wants us to talk about her nightmares. Hopefully she'll understand. I mean, it's Nanny listener. She always understands us. Mostly you and me, Ole. Yeah. I always wonder, how come she doesn't have kids of her own? If she's such a good mother. She's pretty much like our mother. Hmm. We're coming, nanny listener. Of course, Nanny Listener will sit down. Okay, I want to sit by the fire though. It's really warm. Thank you. Oh, thank you for the tea. Oh, can I add honey in mine? Thank you, Nanny Listener. Not too much. Mm, it smells so good. Uh, yeah, about our bad dreams. Me? Uh... I, uh... It's just a 
about my old friend before I came here. I thought she would it's my friend that I saved and it appears um sometimes I feel like I can't trust anyone anymore. Like even I had a dream of either you or Ole turned against me because I'm not perfect enough or I'm not made to be here or Sometimes I feel like I should be forgotten. Mono, you know that we're best friends and I'll never leave you. You're like a brother I've never had. Thank you, Ole. Uh, thank you, Nanny listener. I, I know, it was just a, a nightmare where you guys leave me and dumped me into the rain where I should have belonged. You know you ha still have us and we'll never leave you. Like I said, your family here. Yeah, I'm really grateful for that. Huh? Well, what was my nightmare? Uh, it was just flashbacks of that journey where I saved my sister. However, I had nightmares of her leaving me if for a reason, but the other nightmare I had was where that neck and creature ate you, nanny listener. He drove you to his music and ate you like food. It was so horrific and I feel like I'm going to lose you soon. That actually sounds terrifying, Ole. I don't want Nanny Listener to leave. She's like a mother I've never had ever since I've left Sweden. Oh, it's okay, Ole. We won't leave you, and I don't think Nanny Listener's gonna go anywhere. Is that true, Listener? Promise me you won't leave us. Leave us here while you leave. You won't? <laughs> That's wonderful, because I love having you here. You keep most of us safe. Yeah. Wait, what, nanny listener? You get nightmares too? But I thought grown-ups don't get nightmares, or get scared. You had a nightmare where... We died? Uh, us? Oh, that sounds awful. But we're standing here and we're alive. Thank goodness. I feel like there's a connection between the three of us. What do you mean, Ole? Well, Nanny Listener cares about us because she watches over us every day ever since she came here in this orphanage. She truly is like a mother figure. Yeah. And, <laughs> Mona, you have a dream that you're going to lose us one day, but we're still here, and maybe that nightmare could be pointless for once. Yeah, you could be right, Ole. And for your dream, you're just scared that listener will leave soon, and the neck end represents walking out, never to see again. Yeah. Huh? You want us to... Okay. So you're never leaving us, nanny listener? Pinky promise that you're never going to leave us. Hey, I want the Pinky promise too. Then let's all do it. Good. Well, I feel a little better after explaining that to you. Yeah, me too. And this tea is making me sleepy. Yeah, I can't keep my eyes open now. Uh, my mind.
Nanny listener, can you tuck us back in bed, please? Maybe tell us a bedtime story before we doze off? Could it be a happy story? Okay. We're coming. We're okay, we can still walk. Can we also hold your hand? <laughs> Thank you, Nanny Listener. Yeah, thank you. Again, a happy story with a happy ending. Yay! Like we said before, you really are amazing, Nanny Listener. Yeah. You don't mind us if we call you Mother? I hope that doesn't make you uncomfortable. It's just, we see you as a mother. So we can call you Mother? <laughs> well, we love you, Mother. Yeah, we love you so much, Mother. <laughs> <laughs>